This is part two of the band standing exercises. So now I'm going to do some rotational band movements. I'm going to come from, I'm going to come across my body. I'm going to come from high to low, and then I'm going to come from low to high. There's two different ways that you can do this. You can keep a neutral spinal alignment, keeping your shoulders and hips square, or you can do it with a more of a, and that there, when I keep the neutral spine and shoulders and hips, we'll call that an anti-rotation movement. And I can also do a rotational movement where I'm going to turn my shoulders and my hips with the motion. And first I'll do the anti-rotation movements from all three planes of motion. So those were anti-rotation exercises. I kept my shoulders and hips square. I needed to have a good, good shoulder range of motion, especially on the last two, because it's my shoulders that are reaching across. I'm not opening to do it. I gotta open up my shoulders to reach across and then pull down. And I'm generally coming from overhead to the side of my head down to my hip pocket. So now I'll show you the the rotational movements and here my hips and shoulders are going to turn and I'm going to pivot my foot as I turn. Notice on all three of those that my shoulders and hips stayed at the same level. They didn't rise and fall, they stayed at the same level. So lastly, I'll show a couple of hip movements. And like I said in the last video, these can all be done with a small ankle band. I don't have one with me now, but it's, it's the same stuff. Those work pretty well. I'll use my loop band for this. I can also come out at more of an angle back behind me. And then I can do an instep two under resistance though. Most often, this is not as important. It's a lot stronger 
a movement than your outside. Most athletes need to work the out step, the outer part of their hips, but this is still something you can throw in. To work my hip flexor, I can I can do a lift. I can also work on my internal rotation. I'll lift my leg and then work to pull the band inward. That one's pretty tough to keep the stability. Ultimately, you want to keep your leg up and be able to rotate it. But if I was having to tap my foot down, that's also an effective way to do it. So that is some band standing exercises.